Hi, I'm Scott. I'm the Associate Registrar at Fielding Graduate University, and today we're going to talk about registering for courses using WebAdvisor self-service. There's a couple ways to get into self-service. You might follow a link from my Fielding or from Moodle, but those links are going to take you to selfservice.fielding.edu. When you get to the login screen, your credentials are the same as they would be for my Fielding or for Moodle, and Chrome is the recommended browser. Once you're logged in, you'll see a series of tiles that take you to different functions within self-service. What we need to do right now is find courses, add sections of those courses to our plan, and then register those sections for the new term. To get started, I'm going to click on Course Catalog. The catalog link on the home page defaults to the advanced search, and you can refine that search using the filters provided. If I'm just not sure what's going on on this page, there is a help menu to the upper right of the screen with common topics related to search. I'm going to start with a broad search using just the term and the subject. Because we're in the advanced search, the results are displayed as a series of individual course sections. Remember, Psych 702 is a course. Psych 702 25 Summer 1 is a specific section of that course that I can actually register for. One of the things you may notice is that some of the sections have icons next to them, such as this one that takes place at the in-person session. To find out more information, I can click the link. Notice this section has a waitlist, and there's a co-requisite. To add sections to my plan, I can click the blue button. Notice that any confirmation or warning dialogues associated with it will pop up in the upper right over by the Help button. So now we have two regular term and two session courses planned, but remember those session courses have a co-requisite. ALLE001 must be taken at the same time as this course, so we should probably do that. To find that co-requisite, I'm going to use the search bar in the upper right. Remember when searching for courses that you can add a course to your plan using that button right there, but that's not going to give you a section that you can actually register for. To pick a section, I got to go here. And there's my summer 25 section right there, and I'll add it to my plan. Now we're all set to go register. You'll notice on the home screen, now I've got the blue register now banner with the button off to the right. But if I click this button, it may not register me for every section. For example, if a section has a wait list, it won't add me to the wait list. To really make sure my schedule is dialed in, I'm going to go to Student Planning, then Plan and Schedule. This view shows me everything that I've added to my plan, and I can see the status of each section in the left-hand column. I can register for each individual section with the button. Now this section has a waitlist, so when I click the waitlist button, it'll show that I'm waitlisted. So if a space opens up, I know I'm going to get an email invitation and have two days to respond. And now I'm all set. And that concludes the registration process. If you have any questions about registration, co-requisites, prerequisites, that sort of thing, make sure to contact your academic advisor. Your academic advisor is a valuable resource, and any questions they can't answer, they can escalate up to the office of the registrar. To contact us directly, email registrar at fielding.edu. Thank you, and have a great day.